This question is taken from element 3 of the Health and Safety Management Systems Organising and it's covered under section 3.3 Human Factors which influence behaviour at work. Most occupational accidents can be attributed in part to human error. Your question is to outline ways of reducing the likelihood of human error in the workplace. You have eight minutes to answer this question. Your time starts now.
There are many issues related to human factors that can be considered in reducing the potential for human factors influenced work activities and accident rates. Candidates should have considered some of the following criteria, such as using competent, skilled and trained employees, making sure that those employees are kept well motivated with good work activities and avoiding monotonous work processes. To keep them motivated, give them frequent breaks to recover or remove fatigue and give them designated roles and responsibilities with clearly defined roles and responsibilities. Likewise, ensuring that there are adequate levels of supervision to cover all work activities and ensuring good supervision will also ensure that there are good lines of communication within the workforce employee supervisor management structure. Further issues to reduce human factors or human error are to ensure the clarity of instructions and the clarity of information is passed on to the employees. This may require that the information be written in different language due to the different ethnicities within the workplace. Also addressing workplace environmental issues such as noise and lighting which may cause distraction to the worker. Designing the workplace and the workplace equipment to reduce the chances of error looking at the human machine interface to ensure that the machine controls are effective for the operator. Ambiguous controls are replaced with clearly marked controls so there's no confusion as to where safety is within the machinery. Implementing policies for drug and alcohol to ensure that there are no outside influences that could affect the safe practices in the workplace which would include monitoring and confirming of actions and feedback from management and also employees to ensure we continue to have a safe place of work.